Are you putting your goals off to a better time? Because just now is not the right time to try to pursue the things that that you want for your life. And you're waiting for a little bit better timing just because all the stuff going on right now and it's just not right. Well, if that's you, or if it feels like that might be what's going on, then this episode's for you. Welcome to Enjoy Life. If you need a little push to pursue your goals or some encouragement to take ownership of the areas of life you can control, then you're in the right place. I'm Nick Maisie, and I'll be your host, and I'll be your guide for this podcast. I'll be sharing with you all the things that I've learned through my journey through overcoming struggles in my own life, earning a master's degree in psychology, and trying to be the best dad of two twin amazing girls that I can be. I'm going to share with you all the things that I've learned that will help you to choose your mindset, goals, and actions so that you can guide your life to go in the direction that you want to go and enjoy it. I am glad that you're here, and let's get started. Hello and welcome to episode 146 of Enjoy Life. Just a quick reminder before we dive into today's episode, uh, if you enjoy this podcast or get some value out of this episode, uh, make sure you subscribe, You know, hit that subscribe button. That way you won't miss any of the future episodes coming up, as well as uh, share it, You know, post it on social media, take a screenshot, uh, you can tag me at Nick Maisie on Instagram, and that way other people can see something that might be able to help them. You know, There are a million podcasts out there these days. And if you take just a moment, just a quick moment to share it, it really helps more people to find this one. So thank you for doing that. All right, so on to today's episode. Today, today we're talking about you know, waiting for that better time. You know, if you're, if you're waiting for that better time, if, if, you're, uh, if now is just not the right timing for you, or if you're having trouble starting your goals, you know, some of it's about the timing, and also some of it's just about having trouble starting your goals because it's just not right. If you're if you're struggling to start your goals, then it might be that you're thinking that a little bit better timing could help you. Now, now it might not be the the perfect time. Nice little air quotes. You know, the perfect time to start your goals. You know, we have uh, COVID nineteen going on, uh, still going on. Seems like it's just dragging on. Uh, and we're not going to talk about all that. You know, we have an election. You know, elections coming up. In fact, you know, it's going to come out the day that this uh, this episode goes live. And so there's an election coming up. There's a lot of stuff going on with that. There's a lot of doom and gloom in the news and, you know, and the media saying that everything's falling apart. And then there's a lot of things going on on top of whatever's going on in your personal life. You know, like me, my family, yours, we're trying to get our house fixed up and get it looking good and, and getting ready to try to put it on the market and sell it. There's a lot of stuff going on you know, at, at work and in and, and, and personal lives. And all that, those things, all those things can make it feel like it's not a good time to start your goals. And, and it's probably right. It's probably right. Now's not the perfect time. It's not the perfect time. But you may have heard this from, from on this podcast, but, you know, there, is there really a perfect time? You know, there's always something going on. There's always some reason why we can delay, why we can put uh, stuff off, why we can say, hey, it's not a good time to take steps toward our goals right now, but but tomorrow or next week or next month, it's going to be better. Well, yeah, th- there might be some certain things that make it a little bit better or easier, but there's some dangers. There's some big dangers in, in waiting for that perfect or even waiting for that better time. So when you're waiting for that better time, well, first of all, you're you're, you're delaying. You're just putting it off a little bit. Um, now, it might be a, a reason why you're, you're delaying, but you know the fact is that you're delaying, and it's gonna it's gonna make it all but impossible to get started once you develop that habit of delaying. Delaying once you develop that that habit and that mindset that it's okay to put it off just a little bit, then it's gonna make it even more difficult to get started. You know what that's gonna lead to? That's gonna lead to less of a commitment toward to pursuing your goals. Well, that sounds terrible. You don't want to be less committed to pursuing your goals. You don't want to be less committed on your goals. You want to go after them. You want to be fully committed because that's what's going to help you to achieve them. All right, now, quick little side note. I don't know if you noticed a little bit of noise or something in the background. You know, but I'm sitting here talking about you know not waiting for perfect timing and just going after your goals. And uh, one of my, my little ones uh, came into the little room that I record these podcasts in. And, uh, you know, needed my attention for a little bit. And now she's sitting in here with me and I'm thinking, all right, this is not the perfect time to record. You know, so there might be a little bit of rustling of paper in the background. Um, 
but but that's well first of all that's just life for me and i I don't want to put this off i don't want to delay i don't want to be less committed to getting this uh, this material out there to you and so i need to listen to my own words and just and just go for it because there's not going to be a perfect time for me and there's not going to be a perfect time maybe to record this episode so i just got to do it and go forward so i'm trying to listen to the advice that i'm giving you you know, right in the middle of it, it's just interesting how it just happens like that. So please deal uh, or, or just know that there might be a little rustling in the background of paper and stuff. All right. so there's another danger uh, of waiting for perfect or better timing. And that's as you begin to focus on what you can't control. You know, you focus on the things that are not in your control because timing, you know, and all this stuff going on or around you and, you know, just all, all that. It ends up being it's, it's not in your control. And when you put a lot of focus and effort and energy into the value and importance of that stuff, then you're focusing on what you can't control. And that does not lead to you making the best of your situation. It doesn't lead to you achieving your goals because there's always a million things that you can't control. And that ends up giving you more excuses. So this is one of the last things is that one of the major danger of, uh, of waiting for perfect or better timing is that it gives you plenty of excuses on why things didn't work out. Well, the timing or, you know, it just wasn't the right time or all this other stuff was going on. And so I wasn't able to achieve my goal and, and don't have excuses. You know, the, the worst excuses are the reasonable ones, the ones that make the most sense. Well, because of all this stuff going on right now, I wasn't able to achieve my goal. You know, and if, if that's, you know, if that really seems reasonable, then it can really stop you from making any progress at all because you believe that excuse. So those are a lot of the dangers of why waiting for the perfect time, or those are a lot of the dangers of waiting for the perfect time and reasons why you shouldn't do that. So now we're going to talk about the positive side of it. So that's kind of some of the things to avoid. You know, don't, don't wait because of these uh, things might happen. But also, so why should you get started? Well, because now, now may be the best time. It really, it really might be the best time. You know, what happens, what happens when you focus on things that you can control, you know, what you focus on what you can do and not what's outside of your control, then some really powerful stuff happens. It's amazing. In fact, some, some of the things can help you out right now. And then some of the things end up just being really helpful for life in general. So how it will help you right now, it helps towards your success. So when you focus on what you can control and you do what you can do now, well, first of all, you start. And starting is about the most important step of anything. Because you can't do anything. You can't achieve any goal. You can't make any progress at all unless you start. And now might just be the best time for you to start. And when you start, when you start, you can make a tiny bit of progress. A tiny bit of progress. And see, progress counts. It might not be as fast as you like or everything might not be perfect or as easy as it could be. But you make that progress and you can count that progress and you can build on that progress. So those are, that's just ways that's going to help you to achieve kind of your, your immediate goal and help you to start to get a little bit of that success. But also, focusing on what you can control. You know, taking the most, making the most of your situation right now. Uh, regardless of how the timing is, can help you in ways that are it's more than just the current goal you're working on, the one specific goal. It can help you to achieve all of your goals and your future goals. And, and how that works is that when you focus on what you can do, by take, making the most of your situation right now and, and, and going for it now, it helps you to be, be more creative. Because think about it. it if timing's not that good right now, you got to get creative on how to make it work. So it helps with your creativity because it puts you in a place where you take ownership of it and you have to figure out a way to make it happen. And you also develop the, the habit of, of putting in your best effort, of giving it all you got because you're not going to listen to your excuses because you are fully committed, because you're making it happen. And so in order to do that, you've got to put in the effort and, and give it your best shot. And then when things don't work out right off the first uh, the first try because the timing's not that great, you know, but when the things don't work out just like that, you got to be persistent and you you commit to being persistent and you develop the habit of putting in your best effort, you develop that skill of creativity, all because you know that timing's not going to be the best, but you're not going to focus on what you can't control. You're going to focus on what you can control, and you're going to do these things to make your goal a reality regardless on what's going on 
those are so important for your current goal, what you're working on right now, and then also ones for the future. You know, having that creativity, you know, putting in your best effort, being persistent. You know, those are gonna they're gonna carry with you. Like those those skills and habits are gonna carry with you for all your future goals. But not if you're stuck sitting around waiting for the best timing. And that's not and it doesn't just stop there. It doesn't just stop there. When you say, I'm going to make the best of where I'm at right now. I'm going to go for it right now. I'm going to focus on what I can control. It gives you even more. And these these last two, I believe, are just crucial for life. What, what it does is it helps you take control of your life. It helps you to, to take control. Because you're not going to let things guide, determine your life that are outside of your control, like something like timing. You're going to take control of your life and you're going to make it happen. You're going to guide it to go in the direction that you want it to go. You're going to take control. You're going to choose your mindset, goals, and actions because this is your life and you're going to take control of what you can take control of. And then, and lastly, that leads to to you, or it's kind of paired up. I don't know if that that leads to it, but it's you taking ownership. You know, it's not about your timing. It's not about what's going on around you. It's not about all this outside stuff. It's about you taking ownership of your life. And if you, if, if this goal that you have is important to you, if it's something that is valuable that as you want to achieve, then you got to take control. You got to take ownership. And you can do that. And you can really can do that regardless of how the timing is. You know, the timing, it's not going to be perfect. It never is perfect. But the more that it's, you rely on that timing, the more that you're going to have those those negative things, you know, the, the delays, you know, the, the not getting started, you know, the less commitment that you're going to have, you're going to have less of a commitment. You're going to focus on what you can't control. You're going to focus on those and, and have all those excuses or or you choose to say, hey, I'm going to start. I'm going to make the best of it is right now. I'm going to focus on what I can control. And when you do that, you take that ownership. Because you're going to start on your goals regardless of what's going on. You're going to make that progress, and that progress counts. You're going to develop the skills and the habits to be able to achieve that goal. You know, by giving your best effort, being persistent, developing the creativity to figure out the problems and, and, and find those solutions regardless on what's going on. As do not, do not, do not wait for the perfect time you got to get started on your goals, and the best time to do it is now. So here's to you achieving your goals. Here's to you taking action today today, and not delaying anymore. So I, that's what I want. I want you to achieve your goals. I want you to make them boast of most of your life, the best of where you're at right now. I want you to enjoy it. This is your life. Go make it what you want it to be. Well, thank you for listening to the Enjoy Life podcast. I hope you enjoyed that last episode. Make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss any of the future ones coming up. And also share it, share it, you know, tell a friend about it, tell them to go to nickmazy.com or you can take a screenshot uh, and post it on Instagram. If you do, please tag me. It's at Nick Maisy. Uh, I love to, I love seeing those. It really just gives me a lot of encouragement and I'd love to hear from you, you know, interact with you and, and see how I can make this podcast serve you better. Well, thank you for that. And as always, you can go to nickmazy.com for more material, past episodes, show notes, resources on goals, mindset, and taking action toward the life that you want. All right, now here's to you taking action towards your goals today. All right, take care.